Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. There are lots of my viewers who ask me how I create background for stream screen. So I decided to show that in this video. It is little bit long, but trust me you will learn something new from this. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Composition settings will be same as usual. Let's bring our characters. And adjust the placement of these character like this. Let's flip this character horizontally. Adjust the placement in the way you want to. Alright, now we need to do some color correction, so it looks better. Let's apply curves to this character. And adjust the curve something like this. Do the same for the other character. This area should be our main focus point. Alright, now add a background, I download this image from Google. Also add a solid layer here. Apply fill effect so we can change the color anytime. Let's change the color to this nice dark blue, by the way you can choose any color you want. Press T to bring opacity, and change the value near about 90. Nice. Let's create another shape using the pen tool, just like this. Place it under the characters. Now we are going to animate this path. For doing this, go to the path 1 option and add a keyframe on path. Then come back to first frame and drag these two points like this. And this is a simple path animation. Adjust the duration. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Let's add some shadows on these characters. Select the layer and search drop shadow effect. Apply it on the layer and adjust few settings. Do the same for the other character. You can skip if you don't want to add any shadow. Alright, now we are going to create a background text animation. I think you guys are looking for this part. Let's type our text quickly. Adjust the size according to your need. Now first pre-compass this layer. Make sure to hack move all attributes. Add fill effect. And change the color you want. Then go to layer menu and select auto trace. Now search for stroke effect and apply it on the layer. Check all mask and uncheck this. Also change the paint style to reveal original image. Alright, now here is our stroke and we are going to animate it.
For doing this, first change the end value to 0, then add a keyframe on 30 frames. Then go the almost end of your timeline and change the value to 100. Simple, right? Easy ease these keyframes. And change the graph something like this. Alright, now place it where you want to. And then just reduce the opacity. And it's done. Let's add our text and quickly adjust the scale and position. Alright, now add a simple animation on the position of the text. Just like this. Then just add elastic effect on the last keyframe. It is not necessary, you can leave it simple. Let's type our second text. And quickly adjust the position and scale of it. Now, by selecting this layer, create a shape just like this. Or create a mask on it. Now click on this animate button and add position property. Add a keyframe on position, then come back to few frames and move the text outside the shape. Like this. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph something like this. Also adjust the duration if needed. Now we can add multiple elements to the background. Take the pen tool and create a straight line like this. Make sure to enable the stroke and disable the fill. Now select the shape layer and change the stroke cap to rounded cap. Then add trim paths on it. First change the end value to 0. Add a keyframe on end, then go forward to few frames and set the value 100. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph something like this. Let's add another text. Adjust the scale and position quickly. Now we can do the same masking like the previous one. There are other ways to reveal these text, you can do them also. Just make sure it looks good at the end. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl plus D and place it at the top right corner. And make the length little bit small. Also add some text you like and animate them in the same way.
duplicate these lines and place them randomly on the background. You can make some cross lines with this. Anything you like. Try not to keep the same scale value for every lines you add. Change few values so it looks different. Also offset the timing so you can see the elements throughout the whole animation. You can add as much elements as you want. It's completely up to you. As I said before, just make sure, at the end, it looks better. Let's bring the logo in our timeline. Add fill effect, so we can change the color. Adjust a position and scale like this. Add a keyframe on scale, then come back to few frames and change the scale value 0. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph something like this. Alright, let's type our final text. Adjust a scale. Now select a layer, click on this animate button, and add tracking. Increase the tracking value so high, then add opacity property on it. Set the opacity value 0. Then open range selector 1, add a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames and change the value to 100. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph something like this. Then just rotate it 90 degree and place it under the logo. Just like this. To make it more awesome, you can add multiple text like this. And you can add simple animation on them to make it more awesome. You can also add your Ingham name or Instagram handle here. I show you the way, but it's your job to make it awesome. That's all for today. Hope you guys get something new. Keep playing with the properties and try do something different. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.